The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? It feels like life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. My life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. This is true. Oh, it's better, it's better with two. My life. Oh, it's better with you. Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Big Dog Travis Wolf Wolf McElroy. And this is your sweet baby brother, Griffin McElroy, eating Pizza Hut and taking ibuprofen over here in my Nike shoes, and all of them are good. You know, as I sip this Folgers brand coffee, yes. I just think about... How lucky I am. You know, I woke up, I sat up straight up in my Casper bed this morning. Yes. And I pushed the, the bowl and branch sheets away. And I thought, how lucky are yeah. we to get to live this life? You know what yeah. I mean? As I rubbed I the zest soap right. all over my body and got truly zestfully what clean. Flavor zest, what flavor of zest you rocking? Explosive orange. Yeah, that one's yeah, a little too zest. intense for me. Yeah, it's got it's got those popping bubbles in it. Which yeah, I, I if love you're a, re- a listener at home, you're probably a little bit lost here. So let me bring you in a little bit. Um, we were nominated by the our iHeartRadio Podcast Awards, which we instantly cared quite a bit about. Yes, <laughs> well, as soon uh, for, as I saw my name on there, I knew it was legit for best best comedy podcast. Who cares? But best ad read yes. at a podcast. I we, when I got the news, I was eating my favorite dishes at the old spaghetti factory, and really savoring the good flavors in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just could not believe my eyes. Oh, this yeah. is a problem because I was actually eating at the Olive Garden when I saw it, and Olive Garden uh, actually paid me to say "fuck the old spaghetti factory." <laughs> oh shit, guys! Yeah, imagine a carousel. Yeah, okay? and you're on it. And it's taking you, uh, spinning you wildly around and round and round and through the crowd. As you spin, you see the face of your grandfather. But that can't be your grandfather. He's been dead for many, many years. You sure. continue to spin around and round and you see him and he looks at you and dead in the eyes. And he says, I forgive you. And then the next spin around, he says, Eat Frito Lay brand corn chips. Oh yeah. wow, powerful stuff! Now is that the it, racist grandfather or just like your regular one? I feel like no. we have more to <laughs> I mean, forgive. Fritos are kind of racist. We can all agree. <laughs> sure, well, it feels uh, racist if it's not. Right, I don't think it's racist, but it feels a little racist. This is the kind of stuff that s- snagged us that nomination. By the way, yeah, I mean, remember that time when Griffin talked about how Babel would help you <laughs> engage in oral sex? I want to start. Thing. I want to start being in the meetings where they try to sell our show to advertisers, so I can be <laughs> a real dick. <laughs> it's like, well, you want the best of the biz? You want the best of the biz? The, here's what fucks me up. iHeartRadio had to have listened. To they one, had to they, have. and and Travis brings up a good point. If it was the one where I talked about how Babel will make you better at oral sex, um, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a wild thing. <laughs> Here's what I like to think happened. There are many. Let's be honest. There are many that would not only get us not on this list. They would get us banned for these awards. Yeah, the yeah. FCC would have some problems. I have a theory that what happened was they put four podcasts on the list that they'd listened to, and they're like, "Ah, we should make it five. Every other category is five. Does anyone else listen to any podcasts where they have funny reads?" And like one guy was like, "Um, my brother, my brother, and me." 
Oh yeah, none of us have ever listened to that show. What kind, what are their ad reads like? They're good. They're good. They're, they're good. good. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're, good. they're not dirty, are they, Derek? No. No, 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 never. No, 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 no. Never, 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 never. And they're never. straight to the point. They don't like make fun of the brand or talk about how like Squarespace is sounds kind of like if you said like like a circle area and that's your competing website. No, they would never do that. Let's- all right, we got Chatty Broads with Becca and Jess. They're up there uh, in the nominations. Fant- fantastic advertisers. Yeah, great yeah. advertisers. Conan O'Brien needs a friend. Obviously. Doesn't seem, you know, I've heard good and, things. And I've heard good things. Literally with Rob Lowe, like it. Those two, mm. they've got their, they've got Emmys and shit. Probably they got other. Th- they don't. They don't need this. And the iHeartRadio Podcast Awards love a story. Yeah. You know, yeah. They love a story. And I feel like those guys don't need it. And Rob Lowe's thing is always like, uh, Squatty Potty literally saved my butthole. Like, it's yeah. like, it, it, and it's always that. It's like, uh, Pizza Hut literally tastes good, the cheese in my mouth. And it's like, we get it, dude. <laughs> we get it. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Rob Lowe has never eaten Pizza Hut. <laughs> no. Or, or pooped. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's the kind of real shit we bring. <laughs> all the ads that motherfucker could do are like skin tight lycra. We all love it, but <laughs> can we all wear our, our exercise bike? The vegetable council would love to. Um, no. Lamborghini chafing is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. I, <laughs> we all experience it from time to time. Listen, yeah. we've all been there, you know? The other one is Smartless, which is Will Arnett, Jason Bateman, and Sean Hayes. This is a two horse race. This is a this two is horse us race. and Chetty yeah. Bronze. These yeah. other people cannot win. It's not fair. Of course they do good ad reads. They're professionals. Yeah. We're JV. Not yeah. the JV Club, another great podcast, the Maximum Fun Network, but we're the we're the you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And listen, all of them, the the Conan O'Brien, Smartless, literally, I'm pretty sure they're nominated for other categories, right? Mm-hmm. So this is this is the like, you know, the the best sound editing, which don't get me wrong, sound editing is very important, but this is where our movie's gonna win, right? Like sure. so we can put on the box of an, an iHeart radio podcast award winning podcast right yeah. i mean I, I feel like they're pull they're trying to pull like if we give it to smartless do we get are these guys at the awards oh, right fuck right oh yeah like, i get that is can we get these guys if they're there you know if we if they win certainly certainly yeah. they'll be there Right. We're boned, dudes. Yeah, we're boned. Yeah, they'll on probably this just one. give us the best comedy one. Oh, oh, damn. I know. Damn, that's smartless. I was kind of thinking that they would do like, you know, a lot of these are like 12 episodes. That, they're out there every week. Yeah. They're putting in the work, you know? I know, I know. I mean, shout, shout out to them. They're consistent, they're, especially for people who have things. Yep. Things going on. Lots of other system. things. Yeah. Of uh, of the R2 shows, one of us has an Ozark guy in it that yeah. should be keeping. That's true. And it's, that is I, true. It's not. Um, I'm not on the, I'm not on Ozark. I would you be know. too scared. I was actually edited out. That sucks. Um, Man, I, was, that I was supposed to have a four episode arc and they cut me well, out of all four and I episodes. Was Mr. D- I was Mr. Drugs. You remember that yeah. character? I do. Yeah. They I was CGI'd- Ozark Billy, the, the former mayor and much beloved figure <laughs> around town. Then they CGI'd who, who her faces it. out. I Sucks. did it. All right. And I don't hey, know, you know what, what it though? is because once it. I got Flip cut. Flip it off. Yeah. Flip it off, though. They sold Smartless to Amazon. Mm. And we're fucking ride or die indies. You know, and they love that story. Yeah. Indies. Chatty Broads is indie, too. Damn it. It's okay. I mean, listen, we're, we're not, not entirely entire. independent. Yeah, we're not we, entirely independent. <laughs> we're not yeah, we like like own the show. Like, yeah, it's artist Amazon owned. could at any point be like, you're out, Carrot Top. French Stewart, Kelsey Grammer, <laughs> you're the new smart. <laughs> well, hey, look at that. Hey, I heart right now. Amazon could go to them and say, you have to do advertisements for, uh, you know, racist brand chips. And they have to do it. They have right? to. They have to. We don't. We don't. We do whatever we want. Um, and what we want to do is help you, our listening audience. It's an honor to be nominated. Can we say that? But oh, if you yeah. don't win, I'm going to throw... A thermonuclear piss fit, like <laughs> yeah. absolutely gonna lose. I it. I also just want to say, um, hey, iHeartRadio, thank you so much. Very flattered uh, that you put us in best comedy podcast. I do like that we're up there in best comedy, and down at the bottom is like podcast to watch, films to be buried with, with Brett Goldstein, one of the most famous people on the planet right now. Brett Goldstein, yeah. watch. Hey, 
Us three established fellows are going to tell you, watch that young whippersnapper, Brett Goldstein. He's going places. Let me do this. Let me do this because we got a lot of famos yeah. in, in our category for best ad read. Let me do this. Let me say congratulations. Huge congratulations to Chatty Broads uh, with Becca and Jess. Yes. Huge congratulations to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. So happy to be nominated with literally with Rob Lowe and, and congratulations to Smartless. Now, if any of those shows don't mention our show by name, sucks. Mm-hmm. Th- they're bad sports. Yes. Yes. Now the ball's in their court. That's which bad them are good, good sports. Sean, I know you're listening. Justin, hey, one Justin to uh, Jason, you get the idea. <laughs> And iHeartRadio, one other thing to consider is that our daddy gave you the best years of his life. The True. best years of his life. You I owe also us. Do, I want to highlight, though, that it is 91 days away until the podcast award, and the chance that I will remember this in 90 days, Yep, very slight. Uh, unless that, uh, w- until the Hardy shows up in your mailbox. Oh, absolutely. I just assumed we'd get an invite. They're not going to make a, if we, well, that'll no be a good well. indication. No way. That'll be a great indication. <laughs> Hey, do you need us to be there? No. No. I mean, you can come if (laughs) you want. You might make Mr. Bate when I come. (laughs) We can just cut to some cardboard cutouts. It's fine. Wait, get, I want to send him a picture of myself for the cu- cardboard cutout, and it's me like nodding understandingly. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yes, like, I understand. Right, that, sure. that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I get it. No, well, next get year. It. Next year. It. Okay. I do. I get it. Hey, we got um, we got a strong crop of questions. Let's, yeah, let's, let's get let's, let's help get people. busy. Today's the birthday of my roommate. Unlikely, considering that you know we're reading it whenever they have no control over the temporal sure, nature sure. of this, but. Perhaps when it was written, it was I the have birthday. to assume that's it, Justin. Yeah, I don't think this was a moving target tra- thing. Trying to time it out. Who is a good friend of mine? Good. I do not usually bake things, but this year I got some help from my girlfriend and made a homemade pumpkin pie from scratch. Nummy, oh. nummy numbers. Mm. It's the we right season pure- for that. You don't want to make we that even, in like May. Yeah, we even pureed the pumpkin ourselves. R- rookie mistake, but okay. Yeah, so. you can buy that. You can just buy that. Don't don't waste your time. Don't bake anything. <laughs> Yeah, just buy a pumpkin pie. Roommate was grateful for the pie, Mm. but after a quiet night without any birthday festivities, she has not yet eaten any of the pie. Okay. I'm a selfish man. (laughs) This homemade pie is something that my heart and my tummy greatly desires. How do I get them to eat some of this pie so that I can have some? Awesome. That's from Pie Problems in Portland. God, that's a toughie. Let me just start off by letting you off the hook a little bit. You made a homemade pie from scratch. You're not selfish. You're a human. You're, You're very a human. Of your time. You've seen that pie. So you put the hard work into that pie, right? You did a yeah. little bit of the little red hen. Who will help me plant the wheat? Who will help me harvest the wheat, right? You made the pie, and now you're looking at that pie, and you want to have a little slizzy for your work. I get it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I, Let me say this. Yeah. If you're listening to this on Monday, the 18th yeah. of October, don't eat the don't eat the pie. Okay. It's too late. <laughs> oh, you okay. Missed your chance. You yeah. missed your chance. So I can help in that sense. Don't eat the, don't eat the pie. Let me tell you, here's the secret, right? I've I figured this out. When there is any kind of birthday thing, you bake a thing, you make a thing, whatever, right? Yeah. Shake a thing. You shake a thing, you take a thing, you like a thing. You everybody you like Bella thing. Everybody's waiting for the first <laughs> cut. Yeah. Right? You have to <laughs> Justin, you okay? I am just... Yeah, I had to stand up. Okay. I had to stand up. Because, like, go ahead, Travis, you finish. Well, you got to make the first cut, right? And so... You got to make the first cut. You got to make the first cut. And so, at some point, you just have to start slicing things up and putting them on plates and saying, who wants it, right? Because otherwise, everybody's waiting for, when is it time for it? I don't want to be the person who asks for it. Uh, oh. You just got. You just got to start serving it. They nope. should. They should make pie molds that look like a slice is already missing when yeah. you ba- when you make it, and so people just assume like it's go time. Also, do you have whipped cream there? Because if there's if there's pumped kinder pie, that person is waiting for the whipped cream to go with. Yeah. I saw one on America's Test Kitchen. You know what they did last night? It's actually Cook's Country. What's the difference? They put uh, some malted milk powder into their uh, whipped cream. Oh yes. Hey, you, question asker, 
you fucked up. <laughs> you <laughs> fucked up. You can't put this kind of baked good pressure on somebody that lives with you. Correct. Yeah. Because you need to be able, okay, here's the way, here's the way baked good, baked good is gift. If you give someone a baked good, right? And you say, please enjoy. They say, oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take this home. A week later, they bring you back a cleaned Correct. pie plate. They say, thank you. It was delicious. Right. Your heart and your head say they ate the whole thing. Maybe even Great in one job. sitting. Maybe in one sitting, they loved it so much. Couldn't put they it did down. Not, they did not uh, fold up a business card and shovel two thirds of it into the trash can. Right. That didn't happen. They like, ate they as didn't. much as they wanted. And that yeah. might have been almost none. Right. But, but you now have put them in a situation where every bite, every nibble, is going to be under your watchful eye. What if they cut a slice uh -huh. while you're just trying to enjoy TV together? You're just trying to watch Survivor together. They cut a slice. They know that they are now going to consume this pie under the watchful eye of Sauron. Yeah. You're going to be every move, every micro, micro taste. Every micro gonna, machine. Every micro, no, there's no micro machine. Well, they don't the know. That Here's the thing, Justin. It's even worse than that because if you're good friends with the roommate, they know you don't normally bake things. Oh, yeah. yeah. The pressure's so on. And they watch you maybe like puree it yourself or you said like we oh, puree the pumpkin the ourselves and they're like, D have you ever pureed? They're in their head, they're thinking, have I ever seen them puree anything before? Do they know if it was done? The fuck How did they happen to you? What was that? That was just my chair pushing my chair out of the way. I decided I'm not going to need it this whole episode. Okay. Listen, it's too much. That when you do everything yourself from scratch, there's so much room for error. Did, did you leave? Did you leave a mess? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you leave a mess? A big Because I wouldn't be happy to get the pie that did the mess that broke my heart. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I would say if 48 hours have passed, you can just cut into it. I think you can go nuts after, I think after 30, you 36. Have, you have to ask. It's insane not to. Think about the flip side of this question. If we received it, it was like, my roommate baked me a pie and it was really sweet. And then they cut into that motherfucker. <laughs> like, I was saving it to show my mom on FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's been in Bermuda this whole time. And so I had to wait. There is a massive difference between a pie with a tiny half inch slice out of it and a pie that is untouched. A pie that is untouched, you could take to a bake sale. Yes. You could take to the a pie that is untouched has has value. You could take it to a a a a, a cake pawn walk, shop. A oh, pawn yeah, shop. Yeah, okay. Aftermarket. The pie aftermarket is very very lucrative right now. Yeah, you have. There's a market for that. You could take it to someone else's house and be like. I made pie. I mean, you know, the sure. pie things that people say. Cool, yeah. That has happened, by stuff. the way, the baked good, uh, the second hand baked good has happened to me many times where it's like, oh yeah, my uh, in-laws gave this to me, but they gave me too much, so now I'm giving it to you. And it's like, oh, I'm not gonna eat that. Like, there's just something about that where like, I know at this point, like, oh, I'm really appreciative of this. It's gonna sit on the counter for X number of days before I go, oh man, I should have eaten that. And then I'm going to throw it away. Like there's something my, about the disconnect where it just fades from my memory like Brigadoon. Yeah. My trick my trick is I'll bake something really delicious because you know me. That's a good trick. You know me. I bring. I make something really delicious. I'll try a slice. I'll be like, this is really good. And if I have this in the house, I'm going to eat this whole fucking thing. Yeah. It's so good. So then I'll take it over to Sydney's parents' house. And I'll say, hey, Tom. At this point, you, you can say Mary and Tommy. I think everyone knows. Mary and Tommy's house. And you say, Tom, you got to try this pumpkin cake. And then I'll just like accidentally leave it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Knowing full well that he'll consume the entire thing for breakfast. So I'm basically using my father-in-law as a more ethical garbage can. There you go. <laughs> I'm using his body like a like a more ethical trash can that makes me feel good because it nourished. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it nourished somebody. Um, Do you ever think that this is what how when you go to like the supermarket and you see they're selling like a half pie and that like half pie container that like the person baked it in the grocery store and they went, I can have a little piece. And pretty soon half the pie was gone and they were like, oh no. I can still sell that. And they had to build a special container to just sell half a pie and it just kept happening because damn, those pies look good. They do look good though. I, you know, I, he gets the tiny, he gets the little guy pies. You know, Tommy does. Tommy gets the little guy pies. But he's a big pies. guy. He goes to Walmart, he gets a little guy pie, and it's a personal, you know, a per pot, you know, personal pie. A personal pie him. pie. A personal pie. A little guy pie. Uh, hey, 
Do, do you do you guys want to approach the wizard's throne? We talked. Yeah. To- Wait, is he in it? Yeah. Were you guys tracking how long we just talked about pie? Because it was, was a, a long it was time. a big it was a big pie talk. You know, it was a I, great question. Yeah. Hurry up! You could do a pie chart of how much time we spent talking about pie. That's funny. Marlena sent this one in, and it's just like a. It's. I wish I had this one when COVID started because I don't know about you guys, but I got pretty fucking bored. COVID. A lot. Yeah. During COVID stuff, like starting like like it's hard for me to even remember what things were like back then. Yeah. What is COVID? COVID. When the COVID they were. It's wicked a lot like how it is presently. It feels that way sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah, all, like all the time. But it's okay, because now we're going to teach you how to pass time. Oh, uh, This one was co-authored. I didn't know that this was something you had to actively do. I have This explains so much. Yeah, you have to really force your body to move forward through the time stream. Yeah. Uh, it was co-authored by Lucy. Yeah. So, let's get into it. There's so much stuff here, guys. S- method one, doing stuff. Oh awesome boy. so far. That's that's pretty brassy to put that out number one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How granular. doing stuff is a big. That's a big the big hit to open with. Yeah, that's number two, not doing stuff. Yeah. So the first, the very first thing you need to pass the time. Why not dance around? Nope. Have a dance party just for yourself. If you're in a place where you can't dance, choreograph a dance inside your head to your favorite song. And I know that Ellen's in hot water. But I for bet her, her whole thing. But I bet you that she's kind of stoked to not have to do that show anymore because now she can just like when the spirit moves her, she doesn't have to wait to be in front of an audience yeah. to just have a little dance. Yeah, she but can why do would I want to dance if no one is watching? Yes, exactly. Oh, Travis. I think choreographing a dance in your head to entertain yourself. Yeah. I mean, if that I I was going to say that's pretty wild, but I guess that's how choreographers do it, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, you I, don't I, know if you have a gift or not until you start choreographing things in your brain. Yeah, that's true. Travis Wall one day was just like waiting in a long line at Target. He was like, ooh, he actually, that would look fucking cool. <laughs> he doesn't hey, even need hey, to see the hey, steps. Watch me do this and tell me if it looks good because I can't see myself from here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Travis, Travis. Sorry, Travis Wall can't dance. He just does the the dance moves in his brain. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, like cool, cool. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. He just makes the brain dancers in his dreamscape dance, but when he tries to do them with his body, and it's frustrating because when he's showing somebody, he's like, all right, so you want to twist your arms like this and do them like this? And people are like, <laughs> Travis, you need to stop, pal. Um, reorganize I, um, your movie shelf that we all ooh. have. Or, yeah. Oh, now this is good because a lot of people will talk about, do you do it by genre? Do you do it uh, you know, by director, by year? No, by color. Ah, oh, that's one of the yeah, that's one of the options here, Traff. This yeah. spine color, which is great. If you don't have any movies nearby, just rank your favorite movies in your head or read books. Hey, you can't just Wait. sneak books in. Don't sneak books. one books. of the oldest ways to pass time in the yeah. history of existence. <laughs> like yeah. humanity has been killing time by looking at ink on paper for thousands for of so years. Long. Yeah. And it's you snuck you it in with that movie in. shelf. <laughs> that you'd throw that in underneath. Well, you could organize your movies, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I'll skip that. Like, I'm not going to read that. That's wild. And then they slip in there. Uh, you know, there's a, uh, they don't read books. <laughs> you, you could uh, escape into the wonderful world of literature that could take you anywhere as long as your mind is willing to accept it. Or you could figure out the right order for Pixar movies. Yeah. You get so mad at my. At, my ownership of any physical oh media. sure yeah well, i haven't bought a movie can't comprehend yeah can't ha- comprehend haven't bought a physical movie or book for that matter i think unless it's a reference book i don't buy a lot of them but i'll be damned if i'm get, putting them away i don't know when i want to watch season three of penn and teller's bullshit i don't know it's true you know could be anytime i do like to have them for when uh people come over and i say look at that that's and, a thing. Look at it. That's my almost complete box set of Lost. I am missing a few discs. From I loaned them four. to my friend Jeremy, and I'm never getting them. It's a real S of a B. Uh, write a song. Write a song. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Whatever. Make up your own language. Shibi booby dooby gooby. Love it. Good. We're loving what it. What did you call me? I called you a scooby dooby gooby dooby. And Fuck that's my you. language. How, how is take a nap not number one? That's the number one. Uh, I got time to kill. I'm taking a nap. Take a nap is actually number two. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wait, how is taking a nap not under do things? Uh, it is. Well, not, this is all part the of the do things. things umbrella, okay? Clean, organize, or DIY your room. 
fuck off. That's not passing time. That's work. That's chores. That's, That's work. doing stuff. I. <sighs> All right. Listen, we need to get back in our brainscape because the second method is using your imagination. Imagine okay. conversations. Plug your ears and make up random things that people are saying around you. Wait. Awesome. That what? Is not a, a, the action of a healthy person. That That's is cool. one of I the wildest that... things I've ever heard. It's not imagine a conversation you might have where you're doing both parts. Plug your ears and imagine you're a fly on the wall and people are talking around you? Yeah, but like, that sounds wild, but you know that's what Stephen King is doing. All the time. 18 hours a day. Yeah. I'm and then he, the only way to quiet it is to write it down. Is to just write it down. it down. He plugs his ears at a nice restaurant and just looks around. And he just thinks like, Jeremy, there's a big mummy behind you. <laughs> no, Stephen, that's not, that's not right, Stephen. I'm going to- Is your name the Skateboard of Ghost Ravine? <laughs> Perfect. When I put on this mask, it makes me into a skeleton that stabs butts. Nope. Fuck, Stephen. No, fuck, that's not it. That's not it either. <laughs> you, I would be so tempted if I was Stephen King to drop a 50,000 word book about a skeleton that stabs butts on my editor's desk and be like, it's the new <laughs> the master of horror is back. <laughs> what a you have to print it. And if you change a word, I'll burn this building down around. Do you know who I am? I'm Stephen King. I'm Stephen King. This is my new vision. It's about a skeleton now, that stabs butts. You'll print Mr. Boner the Butt Stabber 2.0. <laughs> Wait, is Stephen, is there a 1.0? No. Turn to page 800. There's a twist. Yep, the knife turns people into skeletons. And then they stab more butts. Now I know you're wondering, does Bony Butt Stabber live in coastal Maine? And the answer is yes, of course he does. <laughs> of course he lives in Maine. And he loves the Red Sox. Now. You stab my butt. Right. My butt's been stabbed, eh? That's right, small butt mean. stab. Fantastic. The right, mate. small butt stab out of the butternut squash. Are you some kind of skeleton? Ah. <laughs> Imagine Grover's Corners never saw a butt stabber like Mr. Boner before. <laughs> you've never, you've never seen anyone from Maine with the way that you are doing this accent. I've seen uh, correction. I was, I was the dad of the girl, Mr. Webb, in in our uh, newspaper uh, man. Mm -hmm, okay, he's the editor of the newspaper down in Grover's. I Corners. still remember all the words from my part in our town. I used, I would say, "This is our town," that's a, <laughs> and we like it that way. All I remember is that's a right smart farm. All right, smart right, farm. Okay. farm. So there's so much more, guys. Please imagine that you're a spy. Okay, cool. Um, yes, I do that all the time. But what if you're already a spy trying to pass time? Yeah, then imagine you're just, uh, <laughs> imagine you uh, you work out office. <laughs> My um, name's Doug. Photocopy, photocopy, photocopy. <laughs> oh, does anyone have, has anyone tried the new office milk? <laughs> oh, no, I stopped. I forgot I'm a spy. <laughs> That's how the new James Bond movie ends, by the way. Yeah. Uh, put, yourself in, put yourself in someone else's head, blah, blah, blah. Assign superpowers. Decide what superpowers everyone in the room would have. Try to be creative, but keep the powers useful. Okay. <sighs> this is exhaust. That sounds so hard. Yeah, okay. Well, then let's try this next one, because it could be... This one, I think, is a pretty fun way to pass the time. <laughs> um, imagine your past loved ones. Have oh, an imaginary boy. conversation with someone that you love that has passed on. What would they say oh. about where you are in life now? What would they say about what the afterlife life is like? Just oh, a boy. cool, normal way to kick it on a Thursday afternoon. Well, I got 10 minutes of the DMV. Hey, Mima, what's the eternal rest like? What's the, damn, this stoplight, this stoplight's taking forever. Don't you think so, Rush Limbaugh? <laughs> Then that's fun because you can make him be like, oh, I pooped my pants. Hell is bad. <laughs> I bet the, the libs made this stoplight. The libs love their Got to go. A devil's stabbing me in the butt and I'm turning into a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> it's all real. It's all very real. <laughs> Stephen King was right. <laughs> <laughs> we should have listened. <laughs> he tried to warn us. It was a prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> and they love the Red Sox. My butt. <laughs> Buddy Butt's Never is a documentary. I keep telling everybody. <laughs> Why won't they listen to me? Why didn't we come up with a name for documentary for books? <laughs> What's their name for this? <laughs> I tried to say bookumentary and they laughed me out of the room. It's real. <laughs> Shit. <laughs>
just because there's no word for bookumentary means I guess nobody knows that Body Bud Stepper <laughs> is real. It's real. It's real. It's real, all guy. real. Uh, uh, we are halfway through. Play a game with yourself or other people. <laughs> Whatever. Start a new TV show. Okay. Play a prank. It's better. Start a new TV show. We've tried that one many, many times. It's very unsatisfying. It takes a long time. Oh, fuck. Try, trust me. You end up in a lot of Zoom calls pitching your idea and then nobody wants it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, step five on, I'm skipping a lot now. Step five of having fun is read a book. So they, they do circle oh, that. Oh, boy. Yeah. This next one hits so paradoxical, so fucking fast, okay? We are, we've moved on to the last subsection, method four, being productive. First step, one, use the internet. What? No, that's not what being productive is. Just go to YouTube or Wikipedia, Reddit, and boing boing. I am oh. being very productive on boing boing today. <laughs> uh, just, okay. Exercise, barf, make a friend. Yeah, it's that easy. <laughs> make them out of what? You know, people always say that, but it's not. It's, uh, it's not that simple. It's pretty tough. Uh, and then finally, dream the dream. Make a top 10 list for what you want to do with your life. But yeah, that won't send you into yeah. sort of an existential spiral. Definitely a cool way to pass the time. Do that one while you're talking to your passed away gram gram. It's just for the full, like... Oh, I had a list like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to many of them, but, you know, that's just the you when you're least prepared. Oh, light green. Yep. Hey, <laughs> it's time to go. You gotta go now. You're the one with all the free time, right? <laughs> Why are you chatting to me? You should get busy. Get busy I living. Or get busy being stabbed in your butt. That's what I always say. Um. So I feel like we're all pretty well equipped to there's some uh, there's like 50 more tips here yeah that are just like uh, don't look at your watch okay um but we don't need to we don't need we've plumbed these depths okay a lot good excellent um let's take a brief intermission to well i mean it's not even a break is it because when you're getting the ads from the best in the biz yeah then it's more it's it's another treat it's more more great content. I'll just say that. More great content coming up next in the Money Zone. It's better. It's better with you. Warby Parker was founded to create boutique quality <laughs> eyewear at a revolutionary <laughs> price point. Oh, dang, Rob Lowe. How did you get onto our show? With just eye, kidding, Rob. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. That's really good. Project Mr. Herbert. Mr. Mr. Herbert. Herbert, you have a telephone call. <laughs> Don't let your FSA or HSA dollars go to waste. Put them to good use on Warby Parker prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, contact lenses, eye exams, and cool shorts. In addition to stylish frames, Warby Parker carries a variety of contact lens brands like AccuView and Biofinity and cool shorts. Only the coolest shorts at Warby Parker. How many pockets do you want to carry your sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams? That's right. We have portable eye exams at Warby Parker only in our cool shorts. I'm wearing Warby Parker glasses right now, and they match my shorts. I love them, and I want you to wear my glasses and shorts. And they weren't nearly as expensive as you might think because they're giving you great deals, great styles, great shorts. Warby Parker. So visit warbyparker.com slash mybrother to save 15% on your first order of contact lenses. That's 15% on your first order of contacts. Savings are automatically applied at checkout. Notice, Warby Parker does not sell shorts. Oh, okay. You you had me for a minute there. No, I know. I listen. I was so worried. Like, listen. I know what a dream weaver I am. You know what I mean? And right. I knew, if like, they could make shorts that my I could put glasses in, yeah, and then just like chill on it. Fuck, that would be cool. What if you put shorts on and it help you see better? Can you? Imagine? What if the What if the shorts were made out of like um. The glasses cleaning cloth material. Oh, man, so I you just, just rub my your... face right on my own shorts. That would be awesome. Hey, today's episode is also sponsored by Honey. We all use internet. 
And sometimes we use it to pass the time, but yep. sometimes we use it to buy shit. And Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one if it finds it to your cart. And Do you think we use a promo code for Honey? Do you think that Honey would explode? Well, um, yes, probably. Okay. I hope not, because I do think we have a promo code. Yeah. That's wild to think about, Travis. Anyway, imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, like, okay, like for instance, boing boing. Like Papa John's. And when you check out, the Honey button drops down, and it says, I see you're looking at Papa John's Pizza, but we do have coupons for Pizza Hut. It said, I don't actually know that it does that. Um, let me start over. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. Okay. Google. And when you check out, the honey button drops down. Wait, what am I shopping for on Google? Internet sites. And it's like, we have 10 internet sites for you today. That will be $10. That's but then the honey button is like, click click this button, it says apply coupons. And you click it and it's like, hey, I found a free one. It's coupon code <coughs> Google Cool Site 69. And you type that in and all of a sudden the websites are free. We use this, yeah, for sure. Uh, I use Honey a lot when I buy like uh, virtual instrument bullshit because there's always sales on those going on. Uh, There's so many different ways that Honey has saved me money on different things that I uh, that I buy on the on websites. Honey saved my life once. It's true. Yeah, I uh, I cut myself very badly, and so Mm -hmm. I googled. Uh, need paramedics and right. honey was like i can get you those paramedics for free and i was like what a great deal and then yeah. they, honey called the paramedics for me yeah. and they came and they brought a pizza with them yeah see i had to spend a hundred dollars at the store for oh, just did? one big band-aid if only uh, honey had been there for me in that's that a mistake, time. Griffin. if you don't already have honey you could be straight up missing out on free savings it's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash brother. That's joinhoney.com slash brother. Hey there, I'm Ellen Weatherford. And I'm Christian Weatherford. And we've got big feelings about animals that we just got to share. On Just the Zoo of Us, your new favorite animal review podcast. We're here to critically evaluate how each animal excels and how it doesn't. Rating them out of 10 on their effectiveness, ingenuity, and aesthetics. Guest experts give you their takes informed by actual, real-life experiences studying and working with very cool animals like sharks, cheetahs, and sea turtles. It's a field trip to the zoo for your ears. So if you or your kids have ever wondered if a pigeon can count, why sloths move so slow, or how a spider sees the world, find out with us every Wednesday on Just the Zoo of Us, which can now be found in its natural habitat on MaximumFun.org. Listen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. What? Woo! Oh! You said you didn't have any bits. Do you believe I'll be Bits would imply they're funny. I just have news. I want a munch. Squad. I want to munch. Oh, the spooky season is here. Yeah. And for donuts. Or no exception. Oh, no. Welcome, Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. I just want to let everybody know what's going on for the scary times as far as donuts. Go. Okay. I don't want to hear it from you, Justin. Duncan. Justin, got I don't want to hear bur- it from you. Okay. I well, want to hear it from he, Count Donut. Yeah. Well, no, Well, he, he actually I talked to him and he said he was too busy. What? Oh, too Hold bad. on. I'm going to call him. This, is, this won't stand. After we made him, we made him. And this is. Oh, okay, hold on. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Ring. New phone, who this? You know who it is, Count Donut. Who this? It's a new phone. It's Travis McRoy from my brother, my brother. Who? Travis McRoy. From all from Smartless. No, no, from my brother, my brother, me, I'm the Millis brother. Like, where the fuck do you get off telling Justin you're busy after we give you your big break? Yeah, that sucks. I had, the bat- I had a bat mitzvah. Okay, that's, that's actually fun. That's, that's actually really funny. fucking yeah, funny. Hey, really can I say something? Can I? Hey, it's Justin here. <laughs> that was funny. That was yeah, pretty good. That kicked ass. Don't just like go past. I had to go to a bat mitzvah. We definitely no, I heard get it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. It's pretty funny. But also, like, we're talking about donuts and it's Halloween donuts. And like, it's literally like the only time of year where we expect you to like show up. 
and do anything. Fine, but you have to pay me double my normal rate. That twenty dollars. Okay. No. What? Something much more precious than money. Like a like a switch. Something thick and crimson. I would actually, I'll give you some of my blood to not make that sound anymore. Yeah. That is how I do it all the time. Welcome to Munch Squad. I am Count Donut. The spooky season is truly here. First, Duncan Donut has a, uh, is a it says, the sweet, not scary spider donut. It's a orange with a chocolate munchkin in the middle and brown icing <laughs> to look like a spider. I wow. hate that. It's very scary. We've also got the peanut butter cup macchiato. What? Halloween. This is what uh, Ando Kafur says. Halloween is always a fearfully fun holiday at Duncan. This year we're going all in for the occasion, celebrating our Halloween enthusiasts with not only the sweetest new peanut butter cup macchiato, but also a very special scary sweepstakes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh fun. <laughs> it offers $1,000 per day at a virtual trick-or-treating experience. What's the scary so you part? You can do this if you want to go to dunkendoor.com. It's an AR experience Ooh. and you can ring the bell and it's a very scary and you maybe win some money. Ooh, All right. Huh? All right. Spooky season is underway at Duck Donuts. At what? Duck Donuts. The Spooky Box is back. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, Spooky Box is back. And he gives a chilling goose bump. It says chilling goose bumps on your taste buds with delicious Halloween inspired combinations like dirt and worms. Oh, so grimy. What? Chocolate icing with Oreo cookie pieces and a limited time gummy worm. Oh, so it's not hey, really. You get around, you get the gummy worm around me. They're all for a limited time. <laughs> I love those chewy bastards. All right. So, mummy, shh, listen. It's a good joke. So, mummy. So mummy, so mum, so mummy, so like a yummy. Oh, it's like, like yummy. yummy. Oh like shit, mummy. So mummy, vanilla icing with peach and streusel topping and salted caramel drizzle. I would ruin one of those. Yes, I and would. And then it, blue. in turn, would ruin me. Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> okay, that's on the nose. <laughs> Pump. He listened to this description. Pumpkin icing. Okay. With Halloween sprinkles. What's a All Halloween right. sprinkle? If you got a more daring guest in your party, Travis, are you a little more daring? No. You can conjure up your own hunting creations with this bookie box decorating kit. It comes up with a four donuts for a family, or eight donuts and as a do-it-yourself, with icing and toppings like a delicious gummy worms. Halloween, it says here, never tasted so good. That's not that daring. All things yeah. considered. That's more just saying. You like, didn't hear about the dirt and worms? Yeah, but I mean. It's terrifying. It's just saying, like, are you willing to take the dare to do the work that someone else could have done for you for the same price? But your kids would love to do this and make no, a huge mess. No, they won't. Mess. They'll they start for They'll three seconds it. and then I'll have to make do it. Make a huge mess. Okay. Justin's kids love to do shit. Like <laughs> and make a huge mess. My, my kids like the idea of it. And then Listen, they remember that the apparently scar- I work for them. She's the scariest one of all. Oh, fuck. I don't want you to be too terrified when I launch in, so make sure you've braced yourself for true terror. Because if once I reveal to you the name that Krispy Kreme has chosen for their Halloween lineup, oh you will be chilled to the very bone. You will look to the edge of existence, and you will be insane for me. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I guess, for me? Yeah, I guess so. Are you fully braced? Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I told Guillermo del Toro this he shit his own bad. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You know Guillermo and del he, Toro now? You've gotten so big. Thank you, yes. He's a dear friend. Okay, name dropper. Krispy Kreme launches Halloween lineup of Krispy Scream Donuts. No! <laughs> I've driven myself mad! No! I'm mad from terror! Oh, God! The darkness! 
It's everywhere. Under a witchy theme, Krispy Kreme has transformed to Krispy Scream. Oh, no, I said it again. I have to stop saying it. <laughs> ah! They complete with a very scary logo change. All right. That actually just four that new expensive. donuts and the treat of a dollar dozen every Saturday. Okay. Plus a free donut offer on Halloween. Beginning today. Well, it's a while ago. Beginning last Monday, Crispy Scream fans will oh be enchanted oh. by four Even new donuts. Even when you kind of whisper it, it's still like hard. It's the, yeah. It is hard, isn't it? There's new donuts. The, 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 here's the first one. Abracadabra. Abracat. <laughs> Abracat. Dabra donut. It's a long walk. It's a little yeah. sweaty. This one. This one comes with a little extra sweat. It's like a. It's a donut. Enchanted cauldron donut. Whoa. It's chocolate with a pretzel witch broomstick. Do you think that they came up with them in that order where they're like put a lot of work in Abra Cat Dabra and then they were just like, uh, and this one's like an enchanted cauldron. So we're just going to call it that. Mm, bewitched broomstick donut, which is an unglazed shell. Donut huh. dipped in purple icing, decorated with icing swirl and gold stars. Okay. And then, most terrifying of all, the spooky sprinkled is orange icing and topped with. Oh, I shudder to this Halloween sprinkle. Not again, it, it rears I, its head. I shit myself. Saturday's beginning, October 16th to Halloween, will be scary great. It's like fairy, but spooky. <laughs> yeah. For crispy scream fans. Ah! You can get a dollar dozen to share with family and friends with the purchase of any dozen. They called them Saturday Scary Sherry. <laughs> huh. Huh. Even I tell this to Richard Scary, he barf on his children. <laughs> Even Richard Scary driven insane by this. I bet his children are adults at this point, too, so that's gotta be wild. Oh, let's just hope they're not litigious. We all deserve an incredibly great Halloween this year. Here we go. Still, we just <laughs> have to keep referencing. It's been a rough the year. This is a bad time. <laughs> and certainly, the cure is a donut. We all deserve an incredibly great Halloween this year because of the ongoing COVID pandemic. It doesn't say this, but it's implied. So we're turning to crispy scream ah! of the month. And scaring up some amazing <laughs> Halloween donuts, along with some spooky good deals. This is Dave Skinner. I probably didn't even need to tell yeah, you. You no, could tell obvious, Dave Skinner yeah. a mile away. Help us have fun, too, by coming by on Halloween in costume. Oh, boy. And we'll give you a free donut. Now you can share how you've been entranced by Crispy Screams <laughs> new donuts. No, I'm actually getting pretty in here. If you do, it, this yeah. is what this is what you want. They want you to do for this incredible, incredible event. Hashtag Crispy Scream. They say that if you type hashtag Crispy Scream into your uh, social media, it will make you insane, and also your family will be insane too, and everyone driven mad by darkness. By, uh, by tweeting it? If you tweet the hashtag crispy scream, then you could be the first one to be driven mad by this incredible <laughs> Don't be promotion. the last on your block. No, that would be so embarrassing. <laughs> now, I will say this. Oh, crispy sc So they've already, this is confusing, right? Because they already smell cream bad. Yeah. And then they're adding in the scream. It's very confusing. I've tried to do it three times. <laughs> Here we go. Crispy. Let's just see the kind of heat this, this tag's been getting. Oh, there's not a minute. <laughs> we, you know, here's the thing. We could we could take over this hashtag. No, don't it. I... We we could we could own this. We could own this hashtag. Here's crispy screen. There's five tweets. Let's take this now. Count donut. We can do this on. Let's one. have this hashtag for our very own. Now here's the thing, Count donut. We can do this, but the the tweets that you do have to be completely and utterly innocuous. Like had a great day. Oh man, do you guys see that tree? Crispy scream. That's the only way I will allow this count on it. Uh, that seems more I... harmful than talking about how these donuts have driven you to the brink of madness. Okay, then let's do yes, that. Just use the tag to tell how the donuts have driven you mad. Yeah, okay, yeah, now I can get on board with that. 
Yes, I want to take over to this K R I S P Y S K R E N E. Oh, it's spelled Just, bad too, huh? It's spelled so bad, so oh, it's boy. ours now. Oh boy! And we'll use it for uh. Just horror. <laughs> Just absolute, absolute Lovecraftian nightmare. Yeah, there you go. Hashtag. About the dark ones and, you know, the donuts. So anyway, get the donuts. Or Wait, don't. Thanks for Whatever. Bye, donut. Eat the donuts or don't. It's up to you. He's trying to sound a lot like Richard Stink, Mr. Dracula. Yeah, a little bit. How about another one of these great questions? I must bring Justin back to life one more oh, time. Kill kill Why do people? I kill him every time people I do People keep this. killing Justin. Yeah. You want me to read the question? <gasps> Sorry, it's still me. I was a vape. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go ahead and get your vape stand. Did a huge, huge rip of my vape. <laughs> One sec, let me rip this cotton out. <sighs> All right, here's Justin. Hey guys. Hi. Oh man, you vaped it up. <laughs> Such a huge cloud. Blood is it, vape. Oh, is it blood flavor? It's blood flavor. That's no, sorry, blood orange. I misread oh, the okay. vial. That's, fine. That's refreshing. Yeah. We said we were going to do a lot of questions this time. We well, did we're going to fire these. But we're going to get more. You ready? I'm in a new city for work, and on my walk to my job, I pass a house with a trampoline in the side yard. There is very little division between the yard and the sidewalk, and the trampoline is no more than 15 feet from me as I pass. Brothers, what is the protocol for using a stranger's Stop trampoline? Stop it. <laughs> is it stealing if I just hop on? For a few bounces on my way to work, that's from grounded. Let's just Greensboro. let's yes. Let's just can we boys please yes. It's ste- it's stealing. You it's stealing. You all know there's other crimes other than stealing, right? Yeah, yeah. There's like one might be trespassing. That's one. Yeah, it's one that you might bouncing. do. It's don't do trespassing. Th- bouncing. Let can, for real. There's th- some great questions on this week. Don't bounce on a stranger's trampoline. What? Why, Justin? If you had a trampoline Justin? in your yard, if you had a trampoline in your yard yeah. and you looked outside and there was a stranger rando adult having a bounce on their way to work with their briefcase and everything, lied about it. What? Well, if the, oh wait, hold on, it Griffin, you actually just sold it for me because if they have a briefcase and everything, then it's this a is a businessman who's like finally free. Yeah. This is a full blown music video moment, and I'm here for it. Yeah, I've, yeah, I freed the businessman. Okay, that's the only that's the way that it's time. the yeah. only time that's acceptable. If you're holding to like a travel mug of coffee that you're drinking from while you're bouncing and you have your tram your b- briefcase in one hand and full yeah. like suit, then it's okay. But if you're doing it in grown up clothes, looking at me through the window, completely mm. stone faced, you <laughs> with a thumbs with up. a thumbs up, you must leave or I must. Next question. <laughs> There's a security guard at work who keeps on trying to scare me. They regularly sneak upon me and go boo or jump out at me from behind doors. They're not very good at scaring me and their scares never seem to get the desired reaction. This is a problem seeing as they're an amazing cook and are known to give free food to people they scare successfully. This This can't be real. I I have (laughs) tried their cooking at pre-pandemic potlucks and still dream of their coconut shrimp to this day. How do I give a convincing enough performance to earn me some delicious seafood curry? That's from a hungry, hungry museum. Okay. None of this makes any sense to me. The fact they work in a museum twists and turns this thing fucking completely for me. If it was an office and people were pulling this shit, it would be like, this is a place of business. But if someone is dressing up like the mummy or like Boney Butt Stabber, and doing this in a museum setting, that's fun. I think that's pretty fun. Yep, absolutely fun. I think it's fun to get but, scared at a museum and then get yummy, like, red lobster appetizers out of it. Like, that kicks ass to me. Yeah. Can yeah, I, that sounds choice. Now, Justin... Uh, and I'd love to go to a museum. Yeah, you guys right. remember those? I do. It's like a big house full of old things. Yeah. And at night, they come to life and like give you life. At night, every oh, one of them comes to life. Love you know that at, shit. At, at hotel, they have they have pictures that hang up. Yeah. This is like yeah. that, but bigger, and the pictures are way better. Way and better. And sometimes they're done by people whose names you know, which is nice. Right. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Um, um, now, our, you, we all three have kids, and I don't know about you guys, but my kid, uh, BB, tries to scare me uh, oh, by yeah. jumping out and saying boo a lot. Yeah. And so I've really tried to perfect this, like, oh, God, oh, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's kind of a laugh, right? That, it's that, like, oh, my God, 
oh, now a breath. Oh, I can see how funny. I'm so happy to be alive. And if you want to yeah. say, like, I'm so happy to still be alive now, because for a second there, I thought that the mummy was going to kill me. Oh, man, yeah. I can't wait to eat coconut shrimp and feel alive, right? Something Makes like it that. Worth it. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Man, the next co- coconut shrimp I eat will be the most tasty coconut shrimp I've ever had in my life. Henry's got this big plastic skeleton hand on the end of a long stick that he likes to yeah. use to like scare me, like wave it around a wall or something to make me think that Bony Buttstabber's coming for me. And after this recording, it will work every time. But yesterday, he did hit me in the face with it accidentally. And guess what? <laughs> guess what? I'm very scared of that skeleton hand now when it's in yeah. my boy's hands. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, and I I can th- I can throw him awfully far. That's a really good. Can I just say, for his age, it's a pretty good gag. Pretty good gag hitting your dad in the face with a big bony butt. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hit in the face part, but that's good too. I mean, listen, yeah. he's little, so I doubt he hurt you that much. But you do have that glass face. Yeah. This ne- uh, do we have time for this next one? It excites me. Yeah. I set a fire in my dorm room trying to microwave a red lobster cheesy biscuit. Yep. It's wild that we talked about Red Lobster twice. That is wild. Okay. Um, and then I had Red Lobster last time. How was it? Was hmm. it shrimp? Shrimp? Well, shrimp fries? Their Brussels sprouts are pretty banging. Okay. Oh, I like a Brussels sprout. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I you know I love the biscuits. They call me Cheddar Bay Jay. Yeah, they around, do. Around these of course. parts. Uh, but the Brussels sprouts are surprisingly on point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you for listening. Except, um, hey, Red Lobster never disappoints, except when it does. Yep. <laughs> And when they fall, they oh, fall hard, shit. baby. Fire and ice, Red Lobster. <laughs> My RA said I have to wait here until the fire department comes. <laughs> I haven't had dinner and I'm very hungry. The only food I have in my room, <laughs> my dorm are microwave meals and a few r- remaining Red Lobster cheesy biscuits. <laughs> do I risk putting food back in the device that's already destroyed one biscuit so far or do I just set my accept my fate of spending the evening hungry that's from starving student i bet you any amount of money the biscuits come in like a metal lined bag for the oven uh, okay i bet you any amount of money they microwaved it any amount that's i just possible. love this like all right so tell me again what happened uh yeah i, I microwaved the biscuit and it caught fire no i know yeah but then the second fire oh, <laughs> what did right, the right, second, right. What did right, the right, second right, right. third yes. and fourth fires come out of yes i used my extremely powerful microwave <laughs> <laughs> and my dad is an industrial scientist and he gave me one of their industrial microwaves for doing industrial stuff. Uh, the kind that you use to dry out big piles of wet wood. Yeah, I just put one yeah, of yeah, these yeah. Uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits in there for the normal amount, 45 minutes. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. I would do... Oh, I would. God. Here's the thing, guys. You literally do have to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. You do... It, 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 a ship in safe... Is safe in the harbor, but when you take it out to sea, it kicks ass. Yep, that's what they say, that old sailor saying. I think it would also be perfect if you could time it so that the microwave dings two seconds after the fire department opens your door. And you're just like looking at him like, can I get, can I get that? Because that ramen's not going to eat itself, you guys. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it was on fire, not the ramen. I, you know what? I'm going to eat this ramen get out of your way. I'll be in the common room uh, watching Bones. Because it's always yes. on. What's that? I'm arrested? Uh, that makes sense. Oh, no. Get, wait, you're the fire department. You can't, yeah, well, you you're going to go to fire jail. You don't have that jurisdiction. Uh, I bet hey, they do. They have to for arson and stuff. Yeah, I guess. Uh, hey, your RA's a dick. <laughs> if I accidentally set a fire in my house and then somebody came up to me and was like, now sit in your shame. <laughs> like, it's already an, uh, I know I fucked up. Like, I set a fire in the place I sleep in. I know I fucked up. I don't need the fire department <laughs> to come say, did you know you did a fire where you sleep? Thanks, fire guys. I know. All fires are illegal. And so if you started a fire without their blessing, yeah. they will come down on you pretty hard. Yeah. This, hey, RA, cops, listen, I mean. any RA listening, this is your chance to score major points. Because listen, this person is both embarrassed and hungry. You're going to say, like, hey, here's five bucks. Go get some food. I'll take this one, Doug. And oh, like, boom, good. right there, you're a hero. You're a hero to Doug. Sure. Who, like, there? listen, question asker is a student. Right? They're in that, oh, that's so weird transition between childhood and adulthood. And it's that worst time to tell a fire person that you set fire to a Cheddar Bay biscuit in a microwave. A five-year-old does this. It's fine. They're fine. It's funny. It's funny. A a 45-year-old man sets fire to a cheesy biscuit. He answers to no one. 
It's but true. like a 19 year old does this, no excuse, no, no, and you have to over. answer to someone. Yeah. The worst. The worst. I'm sorry, it's hard being young, but there's good parts too. Yeah. Like when you don't overcook the Cheddar Bay Biscuit. Just cook them on break. This is a learning experience. I bet you'll never do that Probably. again. Probably. Yeah. yeah. But maybe, Probably. maybe once you twice. might. You might immediately afterwards, according to this question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They've learned nothing. Uh, thank you so much for listening to our uh, podcast. I hope you've learned something throughout the course of this experience, um, or else we haven't done our job. Hey, you want to come? You want to watch us do a live show? Come to, to your computer, not to a physical location. Do you want to go to a, a a computer or TV or whatever and watch us do a Taz show? We're going to be doing Hoot Nanny. Part three. What do we agree on for a title? I mean, Hootenanny three, three is the only thing that makes sense, but I do think we landed on Three Nanny. Yeah, Three Nanny. Okay, Toot Nanny was just really good and right there, and so we had to kind of keep going with it. I it wanted to our... call it Toot Nanny too, but like we, I thought that would be confusing. There's a space. It's a space cowboy opera. It's November fifth, nine p.m. Tickets are ten bucks. If you, get, it's bit.ly forward slash Taz Virtual. And the VOD uh, video on demand is available for two weeks after the show. If you haven't seen Hoot Nanny, there's a recap on our our YouTube channel to catch you up with with the story so far, such as such as it is. And I will be indulging in that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you will know exactly the things that I know about the Hoot Nanny story. Also, very exciting uh, tickets for the shows uh, at Emerald City Comic Con go on sale October 28th. Uh, it's going to be My Brother, My Brother, and Me on December 2nd and Taz on December 3rd. Both shows will be general attendance, uh, no assigned seating, uh, but there will be ADA compliant seating uh, available. Uh, you do not need an Emerald City Comic Con badge to buy tickets to the shows, uh, but you will need tickets to the shows, obviously. And Emerald City Comic Con uh, has safety protocols uh, in place, including require proof of full vaccination or a recent negative COVID test to attend. And in addition, uh, masks are required while on the premises and capacity is going to be reduced. If you want to check out more info on the show, including the full health and safety protocols, as well as ticket links and all that stuff, it's available at bit.ly slash McElroy tour. Thanks to Montaigne for the use of our theme song. Uh, My life yeah. is better with you. You can find a, uh, find that on uh, internet and yeah. on uh, books, books a million. That well, probably has it. And I don't know um, about that. It's just those two places. Um, um, make sure you check out macromerch.com. Get that pin of the month, uh, which is Hell Raven, aka Del Craven from Taz Just Us. Uh, that benefits the National Latina Institute for Reproductive Rights, which builds Latina and Latinx power to fight for the fundamental human right to reproductive health, dignity, and justice. There's a lot of other stuff on there. In case you missed the news, we've been doing Taz uh, weekly for a while now. So this is a good chance to jump in on Ether C. And this is the second week of the Max Fun Block Party. Maximum Fun is throwing a virtual block block party uh, through October 22nd. All shows are releasing episodes that are especially welcoming to new audiences. And if you're encouraging a friend to try out our show or any of the shows on Maximum Fun, this is a good time to share those with them. Uh, and there's a lot of other stuff too, including games, volunteer events, a limited edition poster. Go check it out at MaximumFun.org slash block party. Y'all want a final Yahoo? Yes. Sure. Okay. This final Yahoo was sent in by uh, Derek. Okay. Jeter. Oh. And thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek Jeter. It's asked by Yahoo Answers user. Pot. Sorry? I think you cut Sorry, out. You, yeah. My microphone has a short in it. It's asked by Yahoo Answers user. In Pikachu. Whoa. Yeah. The little rat. Oh yeah, yeah, rat. yeah, yeah, lightning, yeah. lightning rat, yeah, yeah. Um, and fucking Pikachu fucking asks, um, um, hello, uh, I, hello, I am just wondering. Hey guys, quick question. The, um, Go ahead. I hey guys, quick question. It's me, and Pikachu. I got <laughs> yelled at when I vaped 
on an airplane. And I'm just wondering how to move on. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. That was, that was an okay one. I'm Griffin McElroy. I can do better than that. This- this has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad, square on the lips. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.